This is a brief primer on particle size distribution and how it can impact the extraction and flavors of your coffee. The green beans are hard to crush, but when you roast them, the coffee beans lose strength and they become progressively more brittle, which means that they break very easily with very little stress. And any cracks that develop then rapidly propagate and what we get is particles of different sizes. What you can then do is plot the size of these particles on a graph and look at how frequently they occur. This is what we call as particle size distribution curve. So on the x-axis, uh, we can plot the grind size. So as you grow to the right, the grind is coarser. When you go to the left, the grind is finer. On the y-axis, we can plot how frequently each size is seen. And for most grinders, this is what you get. Essentially, there is a peak for large particle sizes and a smaller peak for finer particles. This is called a bimodal distribution, mode being the most common particle size. Now, all burrs produce a bimodal distribution to some extent or the other, but some produce less fines. For example, the SSP unimodal V1 brew burrs. Now, as you change the grind setting, the peak for the larger particles will move. So if you grind finer, the peak will move to the left, and if you grind coarser, the peak will move to the right. The peak for the fines, however, they will stay the same. And this is about the 40 micron mark, which is about the same size as that of a coffee cell. This means that even when you change the grind setting, the fines do not become coarser or finer. It is just the amount of fines that change. So when you grind finer, you get more fine particles, and with coarser settings, you get less fine particles. The fines are what are responsible for the integrity of the puck, as they migrate to the bottom of the puck and restrict the flow of water. They also extract very quickly and end up in your cup, and this is what gives it the body. For a more in-depth exploration of the effect of fines, I would recommend that you read Jonathan Gagne's blog on pulling low fines espresso shot. Now, how wide this distribution curve is, it will vary depending upon the grinder. So a wider curve means that you have a wide range of particles or different sizes. A narrower curve means that the particles are about the same size. So the theory is that with narrower curves, as all the particles are the same size, uh, they will extract similarly, which means you get more even extractions and more clarity. For example, the SSP HU bursts. The downside, however, is that these particles, they pack less well. So you need to grind really, really fine and you need to dose more as the puck will disintegrate quite quickly. What this also means that your puck preparation has to be absolutely good. With wider distribution curves, the particles vary in size much more. So large particles will extract less than the smaller particles, which means you get less clarity, but with greater body. And this is more suitable for a traditional espresso profile. Now, it is important to remember that particle size distribution is just one more variable, and it does not completely explain all of your brew characteristics.